Hi, my name is Roxanne. I'm an Ayurvedic and Siddha Vaidya practitioner. I'm also a Western herbalist and I work at Halo. Welcome to the river. I'd like to take a few moments and talk about the Vata Dosha. Vata in Ayurveda is the combination of air and ether. These two elements combine, come together, and they're an energy or a humor that's in your body that governs movement. The movement in your body is an important aspect for digestion, muscle movement, the movement of my jaws as I talk, and the ability to move through life with ease and grace. In today's world, in the Western societies, we have a lot of vata energy, which means that vata can be turbulent, like a tornado, or it can be a soft, calm, gentle breeze, as we're experiencing here today at the river. So the idea of coming to the river is to get grounded. And that means we want to cultivate more kapha energy, more earth energy, more water energy. We want to combat some of the high vata movement in the mind and slow that down so we can come to the river and rest and be at peace with sitting here on the rock and not having the mind chatter go at 110 miles an hour. The idea is to slow down, deepen your breath, sit on a rock, and get grounded. And be who you are as your natural rhythms, not a intense, verified, crazy, lunatic vata. <laughs> so uh, with that being said, the vata dosha is a wonderful thing. It's expansive and you'll be able to create you see a lot of Vata energy in artists because they're able to create these amazing, beautiful sculptures and paintings and photography and um, wire art and beautiful things that can come forth out of being creative and expansive. That's the beautiful benefit of being a Vata or having a lot of Vata energy. The downside to being a Vata is that you can't sit still and you can't sleep sometimes and you talk a lot and you talk really fast and your attention span is about three seconds long. So there's pros and cons to being a Vata. The beautiful aspect of being creative and then the unfortunate aspect of being thrown around in the wind. So again, coming to the river, slowing down, taking full deep breaths, tempering your fire, and staying grounded is a really beautiful way to build your ojas and your immune system. In an Ayurveda, building your ojas and your immune system is the best way to stay healthy and happy and have a beautiful life and have longevity and a big, beautiful heart. That way, you can be in your service to the world.